like to get on the show. Let me see if I can call that lawyer because he sent us an email. And my thing is this. Don't just send me an email and don't pick up my phone call. <laughs> Excuse me. Give me one second. Because sending me an email being messy, because I know he's a queen. I, I just I just know that he's a queen. Uh, I, I know he's a queen. Uh, and I'm talking about Brian L. Ponder. Uh, he's just he's just a, a queen, all right. He just want to come up, okay? Um, let me see if I can call him if he answer. Give me a second because you know I want to call him right now because he got a whole lot of stuff to say. He emailed me. Um, he emailed me the the um, the court document and redacted the victim's name. No, I want to know the victim name. I'm calling him right now. Hello? Hello, Brother Ponder. This is Brother Wiley from The Wiley Show. You sent me the court document, but I'm curious. Why did you redact the per the person that is accusing Larry Reed? Why is his name redacted? We're trying to just create some privacy. I'm, I'm a victim of sexual crimes. I'm trying to redact it, but it's public information. It can be pulled down. Uh, but you also redacted the case number. Privacy for what? He have allegations trying to take down a black man. He don't need any privacy. He came out publicly on shows, on Daryl's show. He came out public on your client's show, on Bishop Whitehead. So it shouldn't be no privacy. Yeah, on those shows, he doesn't say his name. But uh, you want the uh, full name and case number, you know, if you uh... Yeah, send it to send, you know, send it to him because I need to see the case number. I need to see all of that because, you know, he's trying to take down a black man. He's trying to take down a black man with lies. You know that victim, he ain't no real victim. He's a liar. The lie is, if you have allegations, you ain't go to the cops, you ain't go to the FBI in the state of North, in North Carolina, they don't have a statute of limitation for sexual assault. So where's the police record? He's a, he's a liar. And then you are a lawyer, and obviously you are a lawyer that don't have any clients of integrity, because why would you even support a lie like this? Oh yeah, you come on video. Uh, I'm gonna send you the link to come on come on video because I'm live so they can hear you because we have to have this conversation because you a black man and 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 I I'll, I'll always wonder if you African American men should be you know should know all the facts before we come to judgment. But I'm gonna send you the link so you come on video so we can have a conversation. All right, I'm about to send it to you now because I'm live right now with a lot of people watching they said you need to talk to mr ponder because you sent it to me i i this is my first time actually meeting you uh talking to you on the phone because you sent me an email i don't even know how you got my email all right okay i i just i just emailed you i just emailed you the link all right I call people. If I got your number, you will get a phone call. I pull up on people. Okay? This is what I do. All right? I sent him the email. And I... You know, I don't play. You trying to bring down a black man? Well, let's 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 have a conversation about that. Let's let's talk about that.
Because I, I one thing about Brother Wally, if you know anything about me, if I have your number, I will call you. Okay. We just had a phone call and we ain't gonna get into the details of the phone call because we got into the details with our members. We got a phone call for uh Armand Wiggins. He 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 called us, he unblocked us and, and called and called us. Um you know, he had, he had called us and sent, hold on one second. Let me drop it just in case, just in case he watch it. He sent the, he sent the, 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 the email to Armand. Here, here's Armand Wiggins. He unblocked me and he called me. Not going to get into the details about what me and Armand talked about. Cause that's for members. He blocked me, right? He had me blocked, unblocked me, called me from and I'm not gonna talk about the Larry. He got the, the same email I got. This lawyer has been emailing all the bloggers. Okay, yes, I can call your ex. Send an email. Okay. So the executive producers have already heard this. You know what I'm saying? Because how how I look at this, I don't like when people are trying to take down a black man. I just don't like it. And 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 I don't like it because they know Larry Reed is not going to respond publicly. But I I get on the battlefield for that brother because I believe Larry have not done anything wrong. What I believe they're trying to take this black man down because of power, because of because of financial gain, because of his prophecies have been on point, because how he bridged the gap with Bishop Bernard Jordan and all of that. That's why Bishop Whitehead is upset. We reached out to Bishop Whitehead and uh, we had a member of my t uh, of my uh, producers. They live in New York. They was going to go to his church, but he stopped uh, having in-person services. And we was going to, you know, we was going to confront him then. She was going to have her phone and confront him and ask him questions on my behalf. But he stopped doing in-person services. And he haven't responded to my emails and to my messages. And we ain't afraid of no lawsuit and all, all that, all that, all that type of stuff. Like y'all, y'all can get that to somebody else because we, we ain't afraid of no lawsuit. All right. Not at all. Now when I'm speaking truth. Okay. You, you can, y'all, that, that don't, that don't work for me. But I, I I I called him and I said, hey, you know, I just want to know. They said, do you do the same thing when you're on trying to get info? You call uh call voice or text and uh okay, whatever, it, whatever it take. I'm in the business, whatever it take. This is what I do. I will call the person up. Because, like, like I said, I'm not gonna get into the details about Armand Wiggins about what we talk about. You got to be executive producer. You got to be on Patreon. But he called me. He received the email while we on the phone call, and he said, "I'm not gonna talk about Larry Reed and his Larry Reed thing. I got the same exact email." Because I'm like, "What is he talking about?" Mister Ponder sent an email, and when we get on the phone call, you guys, I, I, I want to say, you know, for privacy and just for privacy, privacy. There's no such thing of privacy when you try to bring that bring down a black man. There's no such thing as privacy when you hop, skipping, and jumping on platforms. Welcome, Mr. Brian. I don't know if I'm going to call you a respectable attorney because I've never known a respectable attorney to blot out names, email media outlets. All right. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you fine. Good. So where where are you? On this, so on this I want to know, podcast. why are you reaching out to black YouTubers, blotting out the name of the fake quote unquote victim? You blotted out the case number. What lawyer does that? Well, a lawyer named Brian L. Ponder. Um, I saw, I, I've never seen you by the way, but I saw that several people had uh, commented on this particular lawsuit and wanted them to have the up-to-date information. I noticed that no one 
had talked about the dismissal of it. So you came up as one of the handful of people that were discussing it. So I wanted you to have the up-to-date information so that you could properly discuss it. A lot of these cases are played out in social media and people never see the finality or the specifics of it. So I like to go, if you go to my page, I go through specifics so that people can have uh, non-sensational information, actual documents that are filed in these cases. Well, my thing is, is you blot it out, so that doesn't make any sense. Because... Oh, the blot it out part I didn't speak to. So I blot it out. So the the defendant that Mr. Reed is suing is an alleged um, sexual um, molestation uh, victim. And by the way, this person is an adult, so there's no... Uh, uh, there's a, a anonymity of, of those kind of people, but I block it out just so the person can have their own privacy. But this case is public. All the documents are publicly available, but uh, I don't make it easy for people to be able to just uh, see the names of these people that are alleged victim. I just try to keep that privacy, but uh, that's why I did that. Uh, that's tip that's not typical. Um, and just like in some other cases, I have a lot of information in those legal documents have home addresses and things like that. And it's not illegal to have that in those papers. But with today's day and age with people um, using that information for bad, I try to redact things that will um, possibly affect the uh, identity and safety of people. But but yet, yeah, but to your but to your to your inquiry, all this stuff. If you go to pacer.gov, P-A-C-E-R dot G-O-V, you put in Larry Reed and you'll, you could actually pull down all the documents for those that are just curious as to the things that were blocked out, which is the defendant's name. So you don't even represent this accuser. You're not the attorney for this accuser. Yeah, I represent them, but I'm not in that North Carolina court. So you'll see in that court document, the paper that was filed by my client to dismiss this case was in his own name because I'm not in that court. So you have to be admitted. This this case was filed in North Carolina and my client doesn't um, is not a citizen there. So he was forced to file papers with the court and under his own name to say that I shouldn't be getting sued here. In addition to that, he attacked the whole case in itself, saying that Mr. Reed didn't have a claim. So um, I'm retained by that person, but you won't find my name on any paperwork filed in that case because neither me or my client are uh, citizens of, and I'm not admitted into that North Carolina court. I'm admitted into about over, over a dozen courts, but North Carolina is not one of them. So that's why you don't see my name on it. And representation of someone can exist without you having to appear in that specific case, because if you're not admitted into a specific court, you can't uh, appear and do anything for that client. So I, I, you know, for me, you're, you're not on the court documents. So technically you're not the lawyer because you're not on the documents. So, cause if you look on pace or you look at the doc, you're not on there. Correct. Just, this, this just, this accuser is represented. And then now he's running, what I'm looking at, he's running away from Larry, he's not living here, he don't live here. Where, where do he live? Do he live in New York? Do he live in Alabama? Where do he live? Because Larry is ready for this. I'm Larry not going to tell you where he lives. Larry is ready to battle. And my thing is this with this accuser, and I speak to your shame, and you're not even representing, you're not his lawyer. You're just an advisor at best. Um, if you've been raped or sexually assaulted, and Larry is saying, hey, I want to sue you, I'm going to bring this in civil court. Now is the time to say, okay, let me tell you where I stay so we can get we can show down in the courtroom so we can put this on public record on what happened. And, and let's put a pause on that. Let's, let's just drop that for a second. When Daryl Moore had a lawsuit and Larry Reed, Daryl Moore was going back and forth in litigation in the court, why did the accusers did not cooperate? with Daryl Moore attorneys because that could have been the perfect opportunity for them to get their story out. So that's what I knew. There was a bunch of liars and demons and they're just trying to take down a successful black man because he cut them off. Well, this, I, I was, I teach a class and I, I have a new students that are on in my class and they want to ask 10 questions at once. I'm not Barack Obama. So you can't really give me five 
trains of thought and questions and expect me to go through each one. So I want you to just slow down. I'm, I'm going to be patient with you. And let's take this you thing piece by it, piece. You you sent emails and everything that you don't. I already addressed that. Let's move you, on. You, you let's said, move no, on. No, no, I'm no, saying. No, no, no. You want to go back I, to that? I I, I I you sent email and everything. And you on the Wiley show. You're not on MSNBC. You're not on CNN because they won't interview you because you're not the lawyer. You're not representing the accuser. You are just a YouTuber that happened to be a lawyer. The same thing like the lead attorney for clout. So I am listen. You, I you, wish I was a YouTuber. You, I have you, you I have minimal. Here, well, hold you, on. Let's let's correct. Clout. You are here for clout. You're not I, here to. Clout. I don't get That's I don't get paid for clout. clout. You're here for clout. If you was here for clout, why are you emailing YouTube? You could have emailed it to CNN. I already explained you that to you. This to MSNBC. You could have emailed this to the to the Christian Post. All this major idiot. You you emailed it to the YouTubers for clout, sir. Listen, those those major outlets that you just mentioned, they come to me. I've been featured on New York Post. Uh, I've I've been involved in litigation with uh, former President uh, Donald Trump. I I am on all those platforms. They come to me. I don't need to come to them again. I already addressed the question of why I emailed you. You are a YouTuber. I am a lawyer. I have minimal. I barely have time to post on these things. And I'm happy to come on here to talk to y'all because you all need to be informed of legal things. You're you're a sensationalist. You're a follower. Uh, according to what I'm hearing of Mr. Reed, you support Mr. Reed, and that's fine. I have no problem talking talking to you objectively. But what I won't let you, what I was saying is, I, I, I'm gonna be patient with you and address e every little thing. I'm I like particulars. I enjoy talking about particulars from a legal aspect. And what you're doing is spewing your position without allowing response or questioning, and that's just not good journalism. I, it's good YouTubing. For sensationalism, but I'm I'm here for you. I haven't had breakfast. I'm willing to be patient with you, but sir, you and talk to you about your your Tasha K, a black woman that was sued for four million dollars, known to be a liar, right? Have been sued, and as a lawyer with integrity, you sat with that woman, right? You did. Well, regarding Tasha K, first of all, I you know that's my first time talking to Tasha K. I and my first time talking to Tasha K, I let her know has she known me earlier her lawsuit could have got dismissed too just like this uh this reed case you know it really matters who's your lawyer and i've, I've told her that and uh i don't know what your issue is with tasha k but she's doing her job that's her that's her she's a youtuber she's doing her job she's she's putting information out there but she has nothing to do with me i, I it's my first time speaking to her if you don't like her, that's your prerogative. But she's doing what she does, just like you're doing what you do. It's not that I don't like her. She was sued for four minutes. She lost what the suit. And she had some very powerful attorneys that don't. Those are, they were not powerful. They're, they're very powerful attorneys that don't sit there and just advise and actually won. But they lost this because Cardi B had a better team. Those were not powerful. They right? lost. They Who had, cares they about had, they, they, had, they had a better team. Oh, no, 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 no. They're not powerful. Also, they're very, very powerful, sir. You might not agree with it. How are they, they powerful if powerful. they lost? They, they're very, very powerful. And you look at the history of over and all of the litigation that they won. They done. They have an amazing track record. But when it came to this uh, liar, that doesn't liar matter. Tasha K, they lost. They well, lost she, because she, Cardi B had the better case. They lost because Tasha K couldn't keep her mouth quiet. They lost because Tasha K did not remove those defamatory well, statements, and that's why she lost. And that's she, it's all well, it's public record that she lost. You you you're, you're absolutely correct. I mean, she lost because the ver the the jury found uh, in Cardi B's favor, but that's 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 the legal reason. Now, I I I've reviewed the case. I can pull up right now where I forwarded information to Tasha Kay's lawyers saying how she could have won and the, the lawyers are not good. Uh, what you're saying, you the only reason you're calling them powerful is because you're happy she lost. I think this case procedurally should have been dismissed just like the Reed case in the very beginning. I'd be happy to tell you why, but this is these are not powerful lawyers. You're only as good as your, your result. Um, I, I think the lawyering uh, was horrible on uh, Tasha K's side. I told her that. Uh, but again, if she would have known me a little sooner, I believe that this case wouldn't have uh, prevailed. Um, sure. Uh, what you're saying has some credence to it. Had Tasha K kept her mouth closed, none of this would have happened. Sure. Because this is a defamation case. Clearly, hindsight is 2020. If you don't talk about something that gets you in trouble, then you wouldn't be in trouble. But that is what it is. But I, I think that case was uh, 
a case of bad lawyering. Uh, Tasha Cage's lawyer is, is not even that type of civil lawyer. It seems like she's a criminal defense lawyer. But the only reason you call them powerful is because of because of the result that you, you you're happy about because you don't like her and you're glad she has a four million dollar judgment. Is that about I don't like her? These are just facts. Do you like her? Do you like Tasha K? I think that she is a liar. I think that she is a terrible mother. I think that she's a demonic woman to even put out a lie. That so let's talk about those things. Cause, cause hold on one second. That Larry Reed is having sex with conscious, which is a lie because they never met. How do you know? Have you been into their bedroom? They're, they're How do you know that? They never met each other. I know. How that. do you know? I know that because I know on this show. I know that because I've talked to both parties. I know that because they never met each okay, other. Okay, so talking uh, to both parties does not at all, at mean all. anything. But let's talk about this. You represent another known liar, Bishop Whitehead. Okay. Okay, well, we'll tread lightly because he, he likes to sue people for lying on him. So he what is he lied about? He is a liar, okay? All right, he what is he lied about? Look at the labels that this man rock, okay? Those labels are not even real labels, all right? And I don't care that he's suing stuff like that. He needs to be worried about the gospel of Jesus Christ, which nobody really watch him when he go live. About 14 or 15 people watch him on Instagram. But when he drags somebody like Larry Reed, that's when the masses upon masses of people are watching. But when he's preaching about Mary... When he's preaching about Peter, when he's preaching about Paul, when he's preaching about David, they don't watch him like they watch him when he's talking about Dr. Larry Reed. OK, and these are just facts. So no, no, you're you, you, what you're speaking is, is opinion. And that's you, you know, I, you're, you're just, entitled these, to your these, opinion. These, these are just facts. On this show, we speak facts. OK, uh, you speak and, all opinion. You, you don't these are speak just about facts, facts, sir. You may call it opinion. These are just facts. And you representing Bishop White, yeah. Whitehead. He's suing Jives, which King Jive, which is a black. Uh, outlet, and he's also suing Larry Reed, which I highly doubt that lawsuit is going to go anywhere because they didn't do anything wrong, okay? They just gave an opinion, like you said. That's opinion. But where is that case lies right now? Have you filed it? Have they well, been served? Which, which, which have, case? Well, you're talking Reed about the Reed King, case? King, King Jai's been served because they both have been sued now, by Bishop Whitehead. Talking about running and hiding, can't find Reed. Okay, oh, go... go process service go to his house lady comes out say he doesn't live here so as far as running and hiding your friends read and i don't know if uh jazz is your friend they are running and hiding very hard to find these people very hard so maybe that's not uh, true because cardi b was able to find tasha k so maybe well, we're not talking about tasha k maybe, maybe you maybe you have some whack uh, uh uh process service maybe i do maybe i do but if you have information to it anybody listen I, I, are they African-American? I'll give you $100 are they African right now if you can, they, you can tell me where to find any of those people. Is they, is they African-American process server? No, no. Even a white man can't find them. Maybe they need a black man. Any any good process, any, right now, any process servers that can find Larry Reed or Jives, just to refer me to a person that can get that done, will get you paid today. How about that? A hundred dollars. Oh, that's pathetic. This is not slavery. If you how much you want, I, MG? It's a hundred dollars. I know how much you want. You want two hundred? I, I know. You know, process servers make sixty dollars. I I don't care if you want to know their location. I need three million. Nah, I I I'll give you three dollars because you're talking crazy. I, well, I'm not giving you don't no, a hundred dollars. That's talking crazy. How much you want? How much you want? You want to tell me? You want to make some money today? How much? Five hundred, Victor? Yeah, five hundred dollars. Three million dollars. That's the winning sir. bid. I'm not. So you locate. Dollars. You tell me where to serve. I'm not telling Reed you. Nothing. Or jives. I'm not telling you that. That's the person gets five hundred dollars. You, you supposed to. You supposed to be this great lawyer, correct? Right. You yeah, I'm not a process server. I'm not a. I'm not and, a skip tracer. And, and, and so you supposed to have some great process service. Why is it that Cardi B, which her lawyers is the best? They're able to find Tasha, and you can't find a preacher. Look, man, or, Larry, or, or King Jives. Are you Reed, kidding? Reed and Jives are hiding. I know where Tasha That's K, Cardi B, easy to find. Okay, J uh, Reed, not easy to find. He's in, he's in hiding. Uh, the process server that I have said that they found some new cars that he bought registered to this apartment at Buckhead. He, he's doing things that's keeping him in a stealth place. Now, I did find a house that we believe he lives at, very nice house in Buckhead. But again, when a process server goes there, a lady comes out and says he doesn't live there. So, uh, you know, that's just what it is. So, but again, $500. If anyone on here can uh successfully give me an address to serve either reader drive uh, or jives 
uh, I'll give you five hundred dollars. That's a contract. You hold me to it. Uh please. Nobody's gonna help you with no five hundred dollars, sir. You need more money than that. Oh, you'd be surprised. Uh, you, 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 you're not you'd gonna be surprised. Buy, we understand you got all the money, not, but you'd not, be surprised. Not for no five. Not for no five hundred. That's more than the process server makes. So but again, you need to pay your process server more money because that's pathetic. You're only paying them sixty dollars. That's why you can't buy it. Yeah, you can get process service done for as low as sixty dollars onto onto um, defendants that are not hiding. Now it costs more when you have to do it over and over and over again. So you're representing Bishop Whitehead. You alleging that your process service that you're paying sixty bucks an hour can't find Larry Reed live or Jives, even Jives. Jives has an address registered in uh, I don't I can pull it up in Florida. And uh, going there, people say he doesn't live there, so he's hard to find. Even his registered uh, address on the Secretary of State, he, the House listed, he's not there. So, yeah, it's, it's difficult serving these people. But the lawsuit, to answer your question, is filed, is active. Now we just have to serve these, these persons um, to bring them into the case. So uh, if Mr. Reed, your, your, your friend Reed, wants to meet me, I can... I can get someone today to hand him this lawsuit. Same thing for Jives. And if someone wants to put that together, again, $500 each. Okay, so you're saying $500 each or to find that. And we should see how you're going to operate with it and we keep you updated. But yet you inserted yourself in another situation that don't concern you about this quote-unquote victim, which I believe he's fake and a liar and not telling the truth. And... um Again, no. Why have? But you have no basis. This is pure opinion. You just sensationalize it. You don't know. Where is the police? You you claim to know what goes on in the bedroom of Conscious and Larry Reed, but you're not there. What about what about the police? Why are you not corroborating? I'm not. I don't. I don't do criminal stuff. That's not. Why you? That's not my area. Yeah, you about the money. You all about. You all about a bag. Yeah, I don't work for free. If you want justice for your client, why not work with the authorities to get some criminal charges? So that's a good point. So when you have victims. Uh, of these types of things there's no there's no there's no money for the victim for reporting what you're suggesting that that's this is a civil matter and by the way my client has never pursued read all he's done was speak his truth when called upon and that lawsuit that we're talking about reed said that uh the uh alleged victim defended in that case has a campaign against reed this man has never once on his own spoke his truth out in public just for fun. He's been pulled in to, to speak on these things and he does speak his truth. So, uh, my, you know, that person is not in the business of trying to take down a black man or read when he's called on to speak his truth. It's like you speak your truth. Uh, I, you know, when, when someone asks you something, I heard, you like for guys to pee on you or something like that. You know, that's your truth. So but you watch my show. So I, don't ask No, someone me. told me about that. I didn't see that. Someone no, told watch, me about that no, this no, morning. No, 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 no. You so this watch, is what I heard. You watch allegedly. my show. You watch my show. Someone told me that. No, no, did nobody tell you that? You I watch watched your show, show last night about that you sent me a link to and you I skipped I skipped to the read part. But someone called me this morning and said, This guy You uh, watch you this watch guy my show says he yeah, I watched it last night when you sent me that link. But, my show, but so they said, did you like guys penal? I was like, okay, that what, makes sense. Because oh, you, 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 you affiliate with, with what, deep what, people what, because what, you, you, you also was, have fetishes. What I said was in my show, because I don't have for anything. When I, was I didn't like, see it, so tell me. Yeah, I didn't see it, so tell no, me. No. You should see it. Okay, so yeah. Well, well, I'm talking to the person, I, so you I, tell me. I, you like I, people I, peeing you, on you? No, the first and foremost, whether I like people peeing on me or not, you watch my show as an attorney. What kind of attorney? I didn't see talking it. Talking about YouTubers. You didn't no, I don't. I'm not talking about YouTubers. You I'm talking it. about you. You didn't. I'm talking see about you. The Wiley Show. You didn't see it, but you yet email me, sir. You watch this show. No, no, no. You I grew. I, well, first of all, I saw of the Wiley Show, sir. Well, if you want me to say I watch your show, okay, I, I watch your show, but I I never heard of you. So before I emailed you that you information, you I did a search. Me. So how you? If you Listen. didn't heard of me, how you email? Look, I put in Larry Reed lawsuit, and you are one of the five people that came up. Well, first of all, be happy. You, you're coming up on the algorithm. So be I happy, went through. Sir, 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 I've been doing this for. You blotted out names, so you just want clout. You're funny. And, you, and if you really wanted justice, 
unblock that mayonnaise so we can talk to him and have a conversation. Oh, you want no? I can no. Look, if that's what you want, you want to be put in touch. I can do that for you. Just Absolutely. all you have to do is say that. Like, all you have to do is say that. I started off the conversation. That's why I called you because I'm like, why oh, blot yeah, it out? Just this say what you no want. Secret. Listen, this ain't the CIA. This ain't no, FBI. No, this is some can... closeted queen. Uh, 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 that was allegedly said he was touched by his former pastor, and he didn't go to the cops, but he's going off. Daryl Moore, which was bankrupt by Larry Reed, he's going to Bishop Whitehead, which Bishop Whitehead only using him as a tool to get back at Larry because mm. Bishop Bernard Jordan dropped him like a bad habit and okay. didn't invite him to the table. And so this is where we're at today. And now you inserted yourself because you want clout, you want some clients, because if you had all these clients and so busy, you won't be on this show with me today, sir. Look, it's Saturday. You should be thankful. I haven't had breakfast. Thankful, I was about to go sir. to breakfast. I'm I don't not care look, that you was going to breakfast, a, sir. You could go eat your breakfast now. No, no, you I'm giving you. I'm giving you. No. Look, you just say thank you and stop being so confrontational. Your, your, your listeners say you. stop being so confrontational. I don't care what my listeners is okay. saying in this regard because you're trying I to am very passionate on what I'm talking about. You okay. came on the show, correct? Whether you ate your scrambled eggs or not, I, I, that's yeah, up to I, I you. want some scrambled that's, egg that's, that's up to you, sir. This. You should have ate you a big breakfast before you hit the link. But well, you, I slept, you I slept in you, today. You, nah, you it would have been too late. You I wanted to, worry, but you wouldn't worry about eating breakfast when you were being messy, sending this link to every YouTuber out in the, well, out in the YouTube was, face. That was before dinner time. I'd already ate dinner. You sent it to all these YouTube because you wanted clout. Just admit it. Well, first of all, I just learned that word clout recently with y'all people. I, you know, my my primary, I'm I'm too busy, but I want to get more active in teaching people uh about uh what's really going on legally. Cause when they listen to people like you, they don't know what the heck is going on. All you speak is opinion. Conscious you talk TV, about what's going on in people's TV bedrooms, you don't know. Who cares, too busy sir? Getting get you on. a platform and you talk about it, but you can't dictate to me. You ain't my daddy. You can't tell me how to run my platform. I'm you not telling you how to run your platform. You, I'm you just saying that you're not informative. You create, you're you, you're not you objective. You create a you're lane. Subject. You, you clapping like a like a like a like a like a seal. You are the attorney. You create a lane and you talk about this case. Obviously, you ain't you a bad attorney because you still haven't even served Larry Reed. Larry Reed haven't been served, or do you, or Key Jones? Right, so I'm a, I'm a bad not, attorney. It's, in it's your not eyes. you worried about coming <clears throat> on the Wiley Show to give out this whole response of what really happened. You need to be telling your process service to be serving Larry and King Jones because they still haven't done their job. Well, your daddy Larry is gonna be mad you trying to encourage him to get served. So I think that stop. Bishop Whitehead should fire you because you have not done your job, sir. You should fire yourself because you you acting like you a have not done your job. Did you or did you not serve them yet? Have they been served? I, no. Over, so is it Marquise, Mister Wiley? I have already explained to you the difficulty the process servers are having to serve Mister Reed and Jives because they are not easy to find. Like Coach Prime said, he's not hard to find. These guys are hard to find, unlike Coach Prime. So if you want to tell me, I've offered you now you. I'll, you you can make five hundred dollars and say, "Look, uh, so and so is over there." Now you will make five hundred dollars. Everybody is your witness. So I already told you the difficulty. And by the way, process serving is not an attorney thing. That's the process server's role in trying to find these people. I can't find them. If I was a process server, he would have been found because I'm good at what I do. Well, but I'm my not. Thing, my thing is this, and I'm gonna tell Bishop White has him an email. You should hire Cardi B attorneys because their process servers are able to find. Well, them. maybe their process server. Now that's okay. a good point. Maybe I do. Need, that's a good point. That's a good point. Now their attorney, no, because he doesn't want to lose the case. But that's a good point, Mr. Wiley. Hire hire Cardi, Cardi B's process server. I like that. That's a good point. They won the case. So again, you, I shouldn't. Uh, a thirty-two year old that don't have a lot of we shouldn't have to give you that advice. You should have been on this, sir. But again, you're too busy trying to go on YouTube channels, get clout to start your own podcast, whatever you want to do. And you want to go on Tasha K's show on her app and do all this mm -hmm. talking. And Just yet, like it went on your show. And yet with Bishop Whitehead, sir, you still have not done your job as an attorney. You are incompetent. You are lazy. And you are too busy worrying uh, man, about us YouTubers. Dude, you, you, and you still have not served listen, King Jobs or Larry D. Reed. Listen, I'm not going to give you those free blows. You, you're not going to call me those things. The, you you are my just, show. You're projecting. This is probably some show. attributes of yourself. But no, that's you, you, can't, you. you have no basis a good attorney would have been served up, it would have been done. 
now you're on Red Bull. You were drinking Coke the other day, boy. You better you better start being healthy. Wait, oh, now you see me. You better start oh, getting healthy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> now you now you now you see me. See, look, I thought you don't watch the show. This is water. Yeah, last night I I, I, I just told you I watched I the show. Sir, you watched. I just told you I watched the one yesterday with Reed, and you drinking Coke. Now you're on Red Bull because I can't. Didn't sir, Kevin and Samuels you, teach you about all that? that those unhealthy drinks. I don't drinking. care what about Kevin Samuels. Drink some water. To, to drink some water. We drink water and stuff like that. I want to say my last point, sir. No, don't make it your last point. Drink this, some this, this, drink this, some water this, before oh, you, no, no, before this, you this, say goodbye to me. This is my last point with you because obviously you still haven't served Larry Reed or King Jives. You said you're well, they run. It won't be long because somebody about to make five hundred dollars. It's a bunch of lies. No, you're not going to definitely make it. You can't even get process service for, for a check for five hundred dollars. They can't buy it. Thanks for subscribing. That we are not going to do it for five hundred. You that's insulting, sir. To try to give us listen, five hundred dollars is not insulting. If you want, dollar, that is not insulting. You're gonna make if you People want make to win, in if you put if you're going to win this lawsuit with this whitehead, your percentage is going to be in the millions because he's suing them for hundreds of millions of dollars, right? So you want to offer us five hundred dollars? That's pennies, pennies, <coughs> pennies, pennies. Listen, and it's not it's not a contingency fee. It's service. Go ahead somewhere. I'm not doing. going with that crap. What was it? Okay, somebody's saying five hundred dollars is a comment. Y- y'all, y'all obviously don't know how much process servers get paid. Five hundred dollars is more than what a process server would get paid and a uh, and a skip tracer. So if you don't want to take that offer, then don't worry about it. That's all. Well, but wanna, those of you that I, I, want to take I, I, it, I wanna, hit I me this, up. I, I want to see this, sir. At Brian Ponder I, I wanna, on YouTube. I'm going to continue to defend Larry Reed. Because he have not done anything. All right. Wrong. So you defending. So this lawsuit was about certain phrases, and you said that they were lies. Let's pull them up. What and talk about it? You're talking about a bitch right here. I'm more so talking about with this accuser. He's innocent. And when it comes to those phrases, I believe that Bishop Whitehead is in his feelings because Bishop Bernard Jordan did not pick them to be a spiritual son. No, that's not and true that Larry Reed and Larry Reed. It's definitely got the connection with Bishop Bernard Jordan because if you listen to what Bishop with Bishop Whitehead was saying, he was going against Bishop Bernard Jordan and he was going against Larry Reed. That's jealousy, right? He don't give a darn about these accusers. He was mad because he got embarrassed because Larry Reed and also our prophetess, they were talking about him being robbed and he felt like y'all embarrassed me by laughing. So that's why he got in his feelings to pick up these accusers and using them as bait to get at Larry. And still to this day, sir, none of them have been served because you, sir, too busy on YouTube. You need to do your job. And you're soliciting my viewers, my viewers to help you with this case. $500. And you, and you, and you, and you still haven't find $500 Larry Reed. Find us, Larry help me find Reed. You're too busy worried about who's being on serve. who and you probably somewhere in the closet and need to come on out. Uh, I'm not in the closet, sir. Nothing against open? nothing are against people gay? in the closet, but I'm not are you in the closet, Mister Wild. Was so that? You straight. Was that? It? So you straight? Yeah, I'm a straight man. The lies you tell. All right. Now, what about you? What are you? I am openly bisexual. Okay. Monday, I might like a woman. Tuesday, I might like a and man. That's, that's perfectly and fine. I am very open about it, and you that's should know fine. this because you're listening to my show. Well, I didn't know it. I didn't know it. I, I only fast forwarded, so this is my first oh, time. I, I prefer to hear from you. So if you you're bisexual, oh, yeah, fine. Sir. That's fine. Okay. You, you you know, no discrimination against you. But uh, just because people are not like that, don't discriminate against them. So, and I want you to start drinking some water so you can continue to have your podcast for, for a long time. I drink plenty of water, so I don't need. Well, not on the air. You're you're not a doctor. You're a lawyer. Well. And you stick, I, I, stick to if your, you look at my history, I spent 10 years in healthcare stick before to I became your job. a lawyer. I don't so. care none about what you said, but, but you're I know you don't care about now, the facts. You're a lawyer. You're a lawyer, correct? Not a doctor. I'm going to make that clear. Correct, correct. You're a lawyer, so you're not a medical doctor. So don't try to diagnose me, sir. Drink your You don't water. have to be a doctor to know that water drink, is better drink, than drink, Red drink, Bull. Drink, 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 you drink your water, you sip on that, and you still have that served. Larry Reed, listen, you still we, Listen, have thanks to your show, Mr. Wild, we're going to change that. Thanks to... That's correct. And thanks to your show, we're going to change it. We're going to find these these hiding knees and jives. Because I highly doubt that you're really looking for. Because uh, if you really were doing, if you was really doing your job, it would have been done. Yeah, we're looking. Well, again, that job, my job is the litigation. The process service job is finding these hiding jokers 
Reed and Jives. And again, I believe your listeners are going to help me. Somebody can appreciate $500 finder's fee. And by the way, um, y'all better hurry up because I'm about to file something with the court next week to be able to serve them through alternative means. So uh, well, you should have been, that you offer should, sir, you is, been well, you that, can't do that until you try and try and try and try again. So how, long tried, been try, how long you been trying? Oh man, it's been, uh, I think over, it's been over a month. It's been so long. Um, but if again, that read and jobs lawsuit is public record and next week, uh, Monday or Tuesday, I'll be filing papers to show the service attempts. And so all of that will be public record. And then we'll be filing something to be able to serve through alternative means with the court. So all this stuff is public record. Anybody can email me out. I'm happy to uh, even you, Mr. Wiley, provide you with information on this so you can continue the conversation. Well, please don't blot out the names like you did on this. Uh, well, on these law, on these other lawsuits, we won't be blotting out any names. Just on that one case where you have a alleged uh, victim of a sexual crime that doesn't want to, not sexual crime, but sexual inappropriateness. They just want to keep their privacy. But again, oh, even, they don't want to keep their privacy. Even that person. They did so many interviews more than that lady, Jennifer, that that was accusing right. it. Now they did so many. They don't, if they wanted privacy, they would have never came on YouTube. Well, be nice. You, you might you get an interview too. You, you, you cannot say, I want privacy and doing interviews. That hmm. don't make any sense. You can because that doesn't make any sense. Because if you want you privacy, can't. don't do interviews. Well, all right. Well, you did Bishop Whitehead, correct? And you did Daryl, correct? And he did other shows. So you can't claim, I want privacy, but yet you talking to the YouTubers. Well, well, he has that privacy. So uh, we're going to find him. We're going to drag him. We're going to find him. We're going to drag him. We're going to continue to drag well, him. Well, you know, he, he's not hiding. I already offered the opportunity for you to interview, but you being so. It doesn't matter. I don't want to interview. I don't, I'm not obsessed to interview her. I'm going to tell him, and if I do have a conversation, go to the cops, sir. What I'm going to do? Right, I'm just going to get a click and a view. You don't want to interview. You just said you wanted to talk to him. Now I'm you don't just want to talk to him. I, I, I talk to him for a click and a view, but at the end of the day, he needs to go to the cops, right or wrong. That's a criminal offense if someone sexually assaulted you. Again, you go to the cops again, instead of a YouTuber. Again, that person is not going after Reed. This person has moved on with, 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 with his life. Oh, and please. I told you, when called oh, upon yeah, to speak on, on his truth, he does show. that. So this guy is not trying to, like you said earlier, when you called me on the air saying he's going after a black man, he is not going after Reed. This man is just speaking his truth when called upon. He does not have a campaign. He does not want to hurt Reed. He has not reported Reed to the police. I, I don't believe uh, recently with respect to all this thing stuff going on. This man is being pursued by Reed to be silenced. and. Um, you didn't talk about it, but yeah, this case is dismissed without prejudice. So Reed, if he wants to set the record legally straight, can in fact file this case again. And, um, and like you know, stay said, tuned. We'll see if Mr. To, Reed uh, does that. Again and, and everything like that. And I know you're going to make sure you're going to email it to the YouTube. I mean, I, I will. I sure will. Absolutely. If it, if, if it, if it happens again, I'll, 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 you're still on the email list. I'll put you on the list so you can be <laughs> informed that the case is back on. And uh, I, you know, honestly, I seriously doubt that it will be filed again. Uh, I think that case is a real big backfire. I think Reed banks on people like Daryl Moore, who didn't have the uh, finances to endure that case. And Reed goes online saying that case was resolved or, or in his favor. It was not. It was settled for no money. And uh, the people basically agreed to not talk about each other. So, um you know, I think Reed is trying to silence people that are speaking their truth about him, alleged truth, I will say. And, um, you know, I think he's met his match. I, I don't think he'll sue that one again because he's backed I Bishop believe, Whitehead I, 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 I and when you I put think, money I, I think and good legal will, counsel behind someone. I think he would do it. Uh, he would definitely do it. And when the conversation that I had with him on my show, he said he will do it. That is definitely on the table. So we're going to see how that's going to play out. Uh, Mr. Brian L. Ponder, thank you. And I'm You're very welcome. Forward. Send me I'm your address. I'm going to send you a, a case of water. You don't need to send me a case where I have plenty Fiji of water, water. sir. I have, plenty, I have plenty Fiji essential. This is Deer Park, I, actually. I, I have, a lot, I have a right. lot of water, sir. You have All a good right. time in the courthouse and, and with your process service. They don't know how to serve people. All right. I'm about to get some breakfast. I, uh, thank you. Have a good All day. All right. Thank you so All very right. much. Bye. All right. That was the attorney. Um,
and um, we had a conversation. This is how we run our show. And I don't care if you don't like it. Oh, wow. A recap. Wow, wow, wow. Um, Give me a second. Wow, the recap. We Hello? You said what? Yes, sir. Yeah, we run our, our show, show because, because again, again, I sit in this seat, and this is what we do. We sit here, and this is what we do. I wasn't even expecting that uh, to having uh, that conversation with the attorney. He emailed us, okay? And he have time to talk, and I have time to talk. It ain't going to go into his narrative. I'm going to control the narrative, okay? Uh, so we thank uh, Larry Reed uh, for coming on our show, and we will continue to get exclusives here at the Wally Show, okay? All right. Um, all right, okay. So that was that. <clears throat> so, child, y'all really missed that exclusive. So at the end of this, I'm going to play uh, – we actually have – today is the word watered. So – uh, we had Samantha James' sister uh, called into the show. We definitely going to play that for the people uh, that are on there. But I want to make sure we want to get some callers. Uh, if anybody want to say something, if they got something to say, this is y'all time. Give me a second. And also, I would send uh, the call-in number. Okay. Uh, the call in number because I, I know some people probably missed the cookie cookie sister part. So, uh, wait a minute, do anybody want to call in? All right, we got somebody back. We just gonna do that. We just we just gonna do the, the stream yard right now. So, hit the stream yard, hit the stream yard. Moderator, just pull the stream yard. Don't post the number, post the stream yard. Don't post the number, post the stream yard. Don't post the number. Um, So we do that. All right. Uh, all right. Let's go to uh, Brother Tommy. Brother Tommy. Hey, Wiley. Hey. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Um, listen, I think Larry Reed, I, it, it doesn't make sense to me. If he is really, if he's so easy to find, why haven't they found him? Are they just not willing to pay for the process server? That's what like that is given broke is given delusional but my thing is this wiley and i have to be fair with you you're you're telling this man oh he shouldn't be covering this case but in my opinion you shouldn't be either because you clearly have a bias because larry is your mentor so let's not act like we shouldn't just go and drag this man for filth and saying that he shouldn't be a part of this that's all i'm saying like Wiley, we got to be fair well, for me, I'm very fair, and I'm going to stand 10 toes down, just like you are a Nicki Minaj fan. When people say she don't write, you automatically say she writes. But it has been proven that she has written. There's videos, literal proof, literal evidence. And it's been proven that Larry Reed is not a liar. I, but I'm not saying that he, he isn't a liar, but what I'm saying is this. We can't just act like you don't have a bias towards Larry Reed. That's all I'm saying. I don't have a bias with Larry Reed. I am, again, a defender of Larry Reed, just like you are a defender of Nicki Minaj, and I'm going to continue to defend truth. All right, Wiley. Have a good day. All right. Uh, we also have somebody backstage uh, that do want to come on. Give me a second. All right. Okay, I believe this is a new caller today. Give me a second, you guys. All right. Uh, hello, Tisha? <coughs> it's Tasha. Oh, Tasha. Okay, another Tasha. Go ahead, Tasha. Okay, so we were chatting in the... We were going back and forth in the chat, and I just felt that this could have been a better interview for you, um, but it was very tongue-in-cheek. I didn't think you took it seriously. Um, he was very calm. 
Um, you asked him a lot of questions. He asked you to slow down and he'll address all of those questions and you didn't give him any time to do so. And I just, I, I don't know. I don't know if you took that seriously or if you just wanted to, at the end of the day, just wanted to clown him. But there were a lot of people in the chat who were disappointed in your delivery. Um, and you were yelling and I, I don't really understand the purpose of that because he came on to and was very serious about, you know, answering your questions. Um, and I know that you attacked me and told me that I need to go watch Oprah. <laughs> but, you know, I I watch you for a purpose because I want to support you. But I also want, you know, I also want to get something out of the time while I'm watching you. Mm -hmm. So. So just like how you're responding to me, kind of passive aggressive right now, and um, not really responding. This is how I'm this is how I want to use. I'm just eating my French fries. I'm letting you talk. I'm chewing. So go ahead, and so I we gonna have dialogue. Go ahead, man. I'm eating my Chick Fil A French fries. But that's but that's what we wanted to see in you with the lawyer. We wanted you to allow him to talk as well, and you didn't. And so it just came off as, and I understand you're emotion, emotional because Larry Reed is your mentor, but as an interviewer, you have to put your emotion to the side to get the best out of him because you could have gotten something out of him and could have caught him in a lie to where it would have been beneficial for Larry Reed. But then at the end of the day, it just, what you did is just promoted him and made him look correct in his approach. Well, that lawyer is representing Bishop Whitehead. They still haven't served King Josh. So he's a terrible lawyer. But that, but that's what I wanted you to show. But in the, in the flip, he made you look terrible. He got so, now. It isn't about me looking terrible. We're talking about a lawsuit. So get me out of it. They still haven't been served, ma'am. So he's a terrible lawyer. And I told you to watch Oprah. Because maybe she can make you feel good, but over here at the Wally Show, <laughs> I want you to hear this closely. Let me let me speak to the mic. I don't. We I get, don't need. We get, I don't we, need hold on, hold on. We get real ratchet over here in ghetto. <laughs> so if you don't like ghetto, this go watch Oprah. But over here, we get ratchet. Listen, I don't need Oprah to make me feel good. I feel good on my own. But okay. so that's what I'm saying. This 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 interview was very tongue in cheek in your it, delivery. It was, cheek. it was ghetto and ratchet. That's what I was delivering. But why? Because he's a real lawyer, and you could have called him. him in. If he's a terrible okay, lawyer, okay, that's about him. a real lawyer. I expect lawyers that know how to serve people. I want lawyers that know how to serve the person I'm suing. So he's okay. Not so why guy. didn't why didn't you allow him to answer that? He you didn't allow him to speak. He, he was trying to solicit my audience to help them serve. But that wasn't guy. Wiley. In all, fairness, Wiley, in all fairness, that wasn't toward, that was towards the end. That was towards Again, the very end. And he kept on saying five hundred dollars, and this it is no, bro. Why are you coming to a thirty-two year old with bipolar and a cock eye and all of that and asking our people? Well, he didn't say I, anything about I, your I, cock eye. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying it. I'm saying oh. it. Yeah. And so you all are out for five hundred dollars? No, sir. <laughs> If you got Esquire, you got money for one of the best mics, you got money for all this high quality stuff, you can't serve Larry Reed the King job. Larry Reed be having folks in his in having folks in his house all the time. You can't for, serve Larry, uh, you can't serve Larry Reed. King Jobs be going all the way in Kojet, praising the Lord. He was just at Evangelist Pat Patterson Church. He was just at the convocation. But you can't serve King Job. Make that make sense. You can tell it to this sister on this phone because maybe she got some doubt. Maybe she under illusion. But I see right through the bull ish. And I'm no, I, I, bull -ish I, I, I out. no. I'm that calling that bull ish out. Wiley, people, I, they be I, out I, in I the agree. Streets. They be out here traveling, and you can't serve them. I'm calling it out. Wiley, I agree with what you're saying, but he didn't start talking about that towards the end. The oh, beginning yeah. of the the beginning of the interview, you attacked him so bad oh, to wow. where it, you there it wasn't a good interview in the beginning. You asked him five questions. He didn't get to answer any of those. And that was at the beginning of the interview. Maybe Mel, you have Mel, to go back I and watch know, your video. I am Larry Reed Pitbull and I'm in attack mode. 
So do you feel like that was beneficial for you or for him? That because been, that or, or for Larry so, Reed. That, that in that matter, because that didn't do anything but but that, that, that didn't was, help that Larry Reed at that all. That was very beneficial to me because I was getting phone calls from lawyers across the country. Like, yeah, that's a, and that's, that's and that's, that's and that's good. It's the fact that you're getting the interviews, that's fine, Wiley, but what do you do with them? That's what I'm looking looking at. You're not a good interviewer. It's okay, to get the, it's okay to get the interviews, but you have to do something with them. Ma'am, you just here for the ghetto ratchetness. Where were you at when I interviewed the um, 18 year old, the youngest mayor in the United States? I saw, I saw as much as I could. I oh, as much as you could, but you ain't because you're, me because that video that video was three hours. Do you think I just have three hours? You I'm didn't not, call me. I'm not the job. You didn't, you, you didn't leave a comment. I didn't see your name in the comment section, ma'am. Do I have to leave a comment for every you video that have, I watch of but yours? You leave, but you leave a comment when it's ratchet and ghetto. So what did I say about you? You like the ratchet and ghetto. I didn't tried, know this was going to be ratchet tried, and but ghetto. You tried, but you try to catfish yourself to pretend like you're such a missionary. And it's I, first of all, you, this is live. Well, so when I, we did, but when we did, did a video, when we did a video with the youngest, when we did a video with the youngest man. Every time I watch your videos, I watch all your videos. But I understand that, man. I understand that. But when we did a video, when we did a video with the youngest man, you didn't leave a comment. You didn't call in. But yet we wrapped it because That's I had a job. Talk. I can't watch every single live video you do, Wiley. That is that is unrealistic expectations. I understand that. I'm not viewers. talking about. I'm not talking about every every video. I'm talking about when we, I interviewed the youngest mayor, and you said you watched that, correct? I watched half of it because it was that? three hours long. Do you I watch can't watch every single video you do. You need to chop it up into smaller pieces, like other I people do with longer videos. Yeah, again, Riley. again, we chopped it up in smaller pieces. Again. All right, well, those those were not those were not released. The only video I saw was the full interview that was three hours long. I have a it job. Wasn't a three, it wasn't, it wasn't job three hours long, man. I understand you that you got a job. You just did that. a video, Wiley. You just did a video that was seven hours. Do you expect me to sit there and watch your video straight for seven hours? Yes, That's if so you, unrealistic. If you love me, you should. Well, I like you. I don't love you. Well, okay, so no, I'm not gonna I watch your videos me. for seven hours, but I try to support when I can. But I don't I, have to leave I, I, every single time now. You, I just you, so happen to catch this okay, live because it's storming, raining in California right now. So yeah, I'm gonna make a comment, and yes, I can give my constructive criticism. I understand that you. Piece, but ma'am, you, you, you didn't leave a me. comment. You didn't leave a comment on the video. Is what I'm saying. On the the lawyer, I mean the the mayor one. Uh huh. When I finish watching it, the when I have the, the hour and a half left that I have to watch that video, I will leave a comment. But, but I, I, I got to laugh at it, and this is what you, I was you, able to catch. But I guarantee you sat and watched this Ratchet and Ghetto part. So guess what? Did I didn't know. know why, do you think I knew it was going to come out Ratchet and Ghetto? This is live. We're watching it real time just like you. Did I know that this was going to be Ratchet and Ghetto? You I mean, come that. on now. Okay. So I'm going to keep on being You just think I'm a fortune a teller issue. and I can just predict the future and say, oh, this interview is going to be ghetto. I had no clue. So you continue eating your fries and I want I want to see better content from you. And there's nothing wrong with me providing my constructive criticism. And yeah, yes, I'm, I'm going to just tell you something. You. I'm going to just, just, just tell you something right now. You think that was rational and ghetto? Keep watching. Well, that's very disappointing to hear because there was something good we could have got out of that lawyer. And that's something good you could have gotten out of that lawyer. But that was just very tongue in cheek. And it was basically it made him look good and it made you look like you didn't know what you were doing. Well, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a journalist. I'm an entertainer. My job is to get under your feelings so you can call in. So when I interviewed the youngest mayor, Y'all didn't call in. Y'all didn't leave no. A couple of y'all left messages in there. But when we got real ratchet, that's when you want to call in. I just don't understand. You act like that. We going to get real ratchet and ghetto. Okay? Okay? I'm bringing out my ghetto side. Um. So, anybody else got something to say? I just don't understand you.
and we interviewed the lawyer. I don't think it made the lawyer look good. It was weird that he could lie to public figure. Okay, yes. Boom. I don't think it made the lawyer look good. It was weird that he gave five to goodbye to public figures. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Well, <clears throat> ah. um, do anybody else want to say something? You know, and this was a very high passionate interview. This is what we do. It grabs your attention. This is like a live mug, man. I'm so sorry to be eating, but I was hungry. I've been doing a live for seven hours. Okay. I, I, I was doing a live for seven, eight hours and I was hungry. Thank you to one of the viewers that sent me money to eat today. God bless you. But I was hungry. I don't watch you often, but on the weekends, I got to catch up a bit. The lawyer was uh, eternally Sir Reed and Jives. If the if the if they cannot locate them by normal process mean, I had to do this. Okay. I, I hear that piece. Can you come and break that down for me? Wiley, you need to push back at the plate too. If Stacey Abrams needs to do it, them French fries and Red Bull, huh? Yeah. But I'm not running for public office. I told her to push back the plate because she was running for public office. All right. So anybody want to join? Because we're going to get into our other segment. Thank you so very much. Okay. Whew. Now, what's the other segment? Let me. All right. Let me flush it down. Okay, um, so <clears throat> Google Child, you're doing your thing, Wally. I can't keep up with you. Well, we thank you, you know. Also, let's go to uh, give me a second. Let me find the timestamp. Hopefully, y'all got it right because the producers don't want to tell me the timestamp. Because in that live, we had you know Samantha James' sister that called in to the show and where is that at hold on one second you guys share this live i sent it to larry reed as well so i don't know if they seen it but i sent it to them as well Actually, let me take let me actually take them down. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Uh 1471 calling you live on here. 1471. Okay, I'm gonna go to the next caller. You one one four seven one. There you go. We're live. You're live on the Wally show. Hi, how are you today, Wally? Wonderful. I, w I was in invited to your show. Um, someone told me to come on the show too. It's my first time. I'm Cookie Tookie's sister. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Um, someone invited me on this show today. Okay. And th they, I guess they want to 
talk about Cookie Cookie. Oh, your 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 uh Cookie Cookie sister. Okay, all right. What was yes, I am. Okay, and I do want to send my condolences to you. you. Your sister passed away. I do want to send my condolences. Welcome on the Wally Show. Yes, thank you, sir. Um, you know, as for the comments <laughs> with the Derek Jackson, simply we women give too much sometimes, and n- not only women, but there's some men as well that just give too much and we know that people is just not hitting on a can of rats, but we still give too much. The heart has no, no matter what circumstance it is, the heart has no control over who they love. Mm -hmm. So we are required to love, but learn to love the right people. So we have to scatter who is who in this life. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you, uh, you know, because um, her funeral is coming up and I know y'all still asking for funding. Did y'all call T.S. Madison? Because T.S. Madison is rich. Um, Sir, I have no idea who T.S. Madison is, to be honest. And I also was told that you know, since the beef that Cookie Cookie and T.S. Madison had, she wants nothing to do with anything. Because I say that because you know, T.S. Madison have awards and she's rich and she could just write a check because <laughs> I, I don't have it. And some of my followers, they own Social Security and welfare. And uh, but but T.S. Madison is rich. She <laughs> lives in a nice mansion. She's rich. You know what I'm saying? I want to know, have she reached out, you know, uh, oh, to I send a, 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 a $30,000 donation? Absolutely not. But, you know, I, I get it. I get it. You know, some people heart is just not just not there to reach out. You know, their brother, uh, rich or not. their brother, Kurt mm-hmm. Myers, he owns businesses all in Dallas. He uh, have he reached out Kurt Myers. Um, he's rich and wealthy. Have he reached out? Have any rich, rich black icons I'm, I'm, I'm and LGBT reached out? I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. No one that Cookie Tookie has been working with or have took advantage of Cookie Tookie, no one has reached out to this family. Um, rather, they donated to the GoFundMe, I don't know, but some horrible fan of hers or whoever have spammed the GoFundMe, so they reported it saying that it's false. So we're not allowed to get into the GoFundMe. I don't know what they're doing on their end to do whatever, but it's just so much horrible stuff is going on at this time. I get that Cookie Cookie was. Uh, so she I'm here. I'm news. hearing reports that T. S. Madison got that reported. Like they said that T. S. Madison did that. That's that's was that that email ran across my chest. I have to say allegedly, but they said it was Maddie. <laughs> that's what she. <laughs> I'm sure someone did. It. So, someone did it. I, like I said, how much money yeah. was raised in the GoFundMe before it was blocked? I believe the, it was like four thousand dollars. And now you can't get in there because they reported it. I, a lot of people are saying it was we, T.S. Madison. Oh wow! Well, well, guess what? Every dog will have their day. That's all I would have to say about that. I want to know, know did Armand was, but... did Armand Wiggins donate it because he interviewed your sister multiple times. He's rich. He's in Paris. Uh, he he got a fashion over deal and all of that. Have he donated? Because Armand Wiggins uh, really was interviews your sister and everything got millions of dollars off that interview. Have he interviewed a dollar or ten thousand, twenty thousand? To uh to help bury your sister, I think I think if they did, the funeral would be paid for, right? I, I I'm actually you because I don't know, I don't have control of the fund, but I want to know, did he donate? I don't believe so, sir. I really what a, do not believe so. What about you know Jason Lee, Hollywood Unlock? He's a black gay man. He always uplifting that he have worked with your sister in the past. Have he donated? I do not believe so. I don't even know who these people are, to be honest. Okay, so Can how much honest? how much do you all need to bury your sister? Um, we we are in the mark of um nine thousand dollars. Nine thousand dollars. Why not get a cremated? That's cheaper. Um, well, we you know we want to honor her wishes. 
you know, at this time, that's what we would like to do. She wants to be buried and we want to give her a burial because she deserves it. She's done so much for the internet sensation. She's done so much for the gay community. She's opened so many doors for so many people. Why, well, why I want to, you know, I, she, I, I get that, ma'am, but you can say what you wish and everything. But if you ain't have no burial insurance, you got to go where it's the cheapest. And the cheapest is cremation. That's the cheapest thing. I get that, sir. And if you don't have it, because because you know why the public don't want to donate to your sister is no offense. It's because she got all these Thanks. donations and she smoked it up. That's why people are not donating. They're 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 not rushing oh, to wow. donate because they they're. I'm and getting email. Is- I'm getting emails from across the country said, "Wally, I'm not donating a dime because when I donated to her, she smoked up my money. So I'm not I'm not giving a dime to her at all. And then I'm getting emails." From people that work in funeral homes, oh, wow. they're, 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 they're saying they're saying just get her cremated because it's cheaper. These are just facts, ma'am. And this is just a little shade here. No, it's not a little shade. These are facts. These are what people email to me. And I, I, I've been doing this job for over 10 years. I've been knowing your sister for a long time. And I get these emails. They're mm-hmm. telling me right now, that. I'm not giving because when I gave, she smoked it up. So the best thing okay. I can do for the family is to cremate her. And you know, that's okay, what I would cool. do if she didn't have no because. Cool. When family have to understand that <laughs> if you have a loved one on the street, it's a possibility that they will not make it, right? So try to give Absolutely. them some type of insurance. And if they don't agree with that, you have to do what is best financially. Because if we if you can't afford Absolutely. to bury her, you can't expect the community to do it because that's your family's responsibility. I'm, I, I know that's rough talking, but it is what it is. No, I respect what you're saying. Absolutely. But I, but what I would do for what I would do because I'm a good person, I'm gonna call T. S. Madison because I have her number. I'm gonna call her my wig because I have his number. I'm gonna call the thing for uh uh uh. I'm gonna call the people from the LGBT people as well that owns it all. Uh, um, ballroom throwbacks. I'm gonna call Caesar and I'm gonna say, hey, y'all give because y'all y'all put this lady on the platform and stuff because I ain't got it. I'm trying to make ends meet myself. Mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. have it. Mm-hmm. And so yeah. I damn sure ain't yeah. got no $9,000. I don't have it. And But mm-hmm. these other folks that I named, they put your sister out there to the masses. They got it. Well, if they give, they give. If they don't want, but to, I, I, but I, but I'm going, I'm going, but I'm going to call those people because I have their number. I'm definitely going to call Maddie after the show, and I'm like, listen, sis, you got a whole award. You know what I'm saying? And you all doing these shows and you doing all these movies, bros. Did nobody watch the movie? But she got paid to do the movie, so don't they? I don't know anything about that. Yeah, I, I I don't know anything about that either. I, I what I, the best thing I could do for you, I I make a phone call to these people and uh, and stuff like that. Did you call Reverend L. Sharpton? No, we did not call Reverend L. Sharpton. <laughs> I'm just did you call Hope Giselle? Because I'm just saving people that got it. Is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I understand. Thank you, sir, for your condolences. I I, have, I give you condolences, but financials for money wise, I don't have. It. I have bills to take care. I got a baby mom on. I got babies on the way. You know what I'm saying? I I just I just I just I have a show that I have to do. I have I have my niece and nephews that I had to take care of. I got brothers that's in prison. I got to help out and give them a bag. And you know my family comes first. But I'm telling you how to get the bag with Armand Wiggins. You need to reach out to the people with the bag. We understand. Thank you very much. But I, I'm going to call and I'm going to email the people that, that email me to get you on the show. And I'm going to call all these people and say, hey, y'all give. Because y'all got it. <laughs> all right, sir. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, you so now. thank you so very much. Again, I do send Bye-bye. my uh, condolences because we don't know if that's the real sister. And she's sitting there laughing. I don't know if that's the real sister. I got an email. I got an email and see... Uh, I got an email and it was like, this is the sister and they soliciting funds, sending cash out. I'm not promoting no cash out. I'm not promoting no cash out because I don't know if that's that person's sister. And if it is that sister, where the hell you been when your sister was running and rapping in these streets? So I don't know. I'm not 
bringing a cash app to my people because I don't know if this is the sister. But I know that T.S. Madison got the money. I know that Caesar from Ballroom Throwbacks got the money. I know that Tyler Perry got the money. Oprah Winfrey got the money. All these people. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just saying. I know that Kurt Meyer from Dallas, you know, got the money. I know that, you know, Jeffrey Pub, the owner of Jeffrey Pub, he had booked uh, Cookie Tookie a couple of times. He got the money. But Wiley ain't got no eight, $9,000. Okay? I ain't got no $9,000 to bury somebody that I just don't, I don't have it. Let me check in my account. Maybe, let me check. Do, 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 do. I ain't got it. Okay, I checked it and they don't have nowhere near close to that. My people can't even get me to LA and they damn sure can't give no eight thousand out there. And that was four thousand. All right. So um, this is real. Y'all have to understand that you have to have insurance. It is what it is. And then she would say, Well, my sister want her wishes honored. It don't take no nine thousand dollars to bury. And if you ain't got no insurance, get cremation, okay? If you don't have no insurance, get cremated. I ain't got it. If I had, I'd be in LA covering Tory Lanez. Anyway, let's go. Let's go to the, um, let's go to the, uh, Fall line 6077 calling you on the air. Hello, thank you. Well, welcome to the Wiley Hello. Show. Welcome to the Wiley Show. Hi, Wiley. This is Jody. Welcome, my Jody. first time calling in. I tell you, I what I had to say, I, I can't even say it now because I don't bust out laughing, you know. Like, you are something Ooh. else. I have been watching your show for a long time. And I have a question, and I have two pointers I want to make. But first, I wanted to say to uh, Cookie Cookie Sister, if you're still listening, why don't you make a GoFundMe for um, your sister, and maybe you can email it to Wiley, and he can post it on his platform and, you know, generate uh, awareness about it, and the public can donate that way. And then people are, you know? e people are emailing me saying that's not the sister, and I'm not – going to and see, and see that's why i'm saying like that way you know if that, it's really the family and you that, really right? don't know that either man because you got a lot of scammers out there what they, oh, you, yeah. you you understand what i'm saying and my thing is this I, if I you it. if you can't get your family together let's say let's cremate her mm -hmm. that is the cheapest way right. if you don't have the money to bury your loved one mm -hmm. you ain't got it Mm -hmm. But you can't expect right, right. the general public to give to your family right. members to bury. That we don't owe you that. We don't. You're right. It, it, right. It, it's just yeah, the I'm truth. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, and the, you're speaking fast. <laughs> you're speaking fast. We don't owe. We don't. Um, we, we don't owe you that. Mm-hmm. You're right. And I, I will say this. And the the amount she said was about right because. We lost um, one of our relatives back in February, my niece, one of my sister's kids or whatever. And she did not have very insurance, right? And we kept telling her to pay the policy or whatever. She kept putting it off. So she passed unexpectedly, and it cost ten. It cost ten thousand dollars. But thank God, the family was able to, you know, put all the money in and bury her. You know, we didn't have to go outside the family. But um, I was calling you because um, I wanted to say, um, I wanted to uh, speak on the Larry Reed thing. Can you hear me? I hear you loud and clear. I'm listening to you. Okay, okay. So um, I wanted to ask you, um, at the time, I mean, when, you know, I know you do your, your show is comedic, Rose Gag, and this and that, and, and third. But I think that was a good opportunity for you to get information, you know, about what's going on with that case. And it seemed like when he wanted to give you information, you just cut him off and you was doing the roasting, gagging and just, you know, trying to gaslight, him, you know. 
Why did you do that? Well, this is the Wally Show. I am a comedian, and he's not the attorney representing the victim. Uh, he sent me a court document that was redacted with the, without the person's name and redacted out the case number. If you really wanted me to do some digging on the case, redact the name and redact the case number so I can do the digging, right? I seen that same mm -hmm. lawyer on Tasha K kissing her behind, right? When he mm -hmm. sat, sat there mm -hmm. and they was laughing and gagging about Larry Reed and conscious relationship and all of that. And so when you come on the Wiley show, mm -hmm. guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to drag. It is what it is. Okay. This this okay. how I run the show. I called him. He answered. He hit the link. And so we had dialogue. Mm -hmm. This ain't MSNBC. This ain't CNN. This the Wiley show. We get real ghetto mm -hmm. and wow over here. <laughs> and that's why. Yeah. And that's why you called mm -hmm. in because we was ghetto and wow. Right. Because 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 if because if, 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 if we because if, if we were so calm and I was very sleepy, a good professional interview, I highly doubt all these people would be calling in. Y'all called in because it was wild and it was ratchet and ghetto. You, I, I'm not gonna argue with that, okay? But I do want to say this, okay? For the people that I, that's always saying to others. Uh, you can swipe right. We know we can swipe right or left and change the channel if we not if we don't like what we're hearing or seeing or whatever. But sometimes it's it, you get so like entwined in the train wreck you can't help but like look, you know, and, and watch it. But I I find your show to be very funny and very entertaining. I like the fact that I'm able to um, give my constructive criticism and not get blocked and all that because I wouldn't want a bunch of yes men in my chat. People should be able to um, give their opinions without being hung up on, without being blocked in a chat and all that. So I appreciate that about your show. Oh, because oh, over here, um, this is what we yeah. do. We allow the public to talk. You know what I'm saying? And, and one, I thing, that. one thing I've learned from Tasha, her style, she don't block. Mm -hmm. And I mm -hmm. live by that policy. Right. It's only going to hurt the growth, you know, let the haters hate and, you know, build your numbers. That's what Tasha did. Absolutely. Right. Okay. That's all I wanted to say. I forgot the other, other pointers I wanted to make because I got to laugh in the way you start talking to the lady and some of the comments you made about the chat. I mean, about your uh, audience. I just was like, oh my God, he just don't went all the way left. But anyway, I enjoy your show. I've been watching All right, hold on. Somebody backstage want to say something? Give me a second here. I want to make sure. Hello, you want to say something? Hi, can you hear me? <clears throat> Welcome to the Wiley Show. Hi, Wiley. It's my first Hi. time on the show. Welcome. I just want to say it's common sense to have a life insurance. Mm -hmm. It's very uh, ghetto and ratchet to have to ask the public for help to bury a loved one. Mm -hmm. You have life insurance, Wally? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I do too. I got my own policy and my mom has a policy on me as well. And I'm young. I'm still in my 20s and I know better like to have life insurance. Absolutely. But because yeah. even if you work on some jobs, they will even give you life insurance. But some, some jobs, they will have that as one of the benefits. Exactly. But that lady who called talking about she was a sister. Look, if you say you're like a family member to somebody, you need to send some type of proof. Like you can't just say, oh, I'm the sister and here's my cash app or whatever. Like send some type of proof that you related to this lady. Like mm -hmm. people is just crazy. But that's all I want to say, Wiley. Thank you. For Thank you so in. very much. Bye bye. All right. Yeah. Just send some type of proof. OK, let's get back into this live. <laughs> for a long time and i'm so glad you um made the turn that you made because i remember when you was with this lady Z. Yes, i didn't watch you then you know you was like off the rocker too much then but when you start going toward the entertainment field and you was focused on it your numbers started growing and i really believe that you would have more numbers more subscribers now if you had did that you know sooner i agree with that uh, you're so right. You're talking about yeah. when I was in the beef sector. Yes. 
But you know, I appreciate yeah. I appreciate that because you know what the B sector taught me? It taught me thick skin. Mm-hmm. It taught me that exactly. I got, that's why I got my entertainment, my chops from is from that sector. And I appreciate right. that sector. Uh, because the B cycle taught me that. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so very okay. much. Okay, Wally. Thank you so very much for calling in. All right. We got a lot of we got a lot of phone calls of people that are just calling in. I think we have somebody backstage. Listen, you guys, just be patient. The show is growing. If you just got something to say, you can super chat your way to the top. Uh, super chat your way to the top. The moderate and with your last four numbers, we're bringing you on. If you're not, you just have to be patient. Uh, I am human first. I am human first. You live on the air. Yeah, well, uh, can you hear me? Okay, you were breaking up, so I'm trying again. Go ahead. Can you hear me now? Okay, I can hear better? you now. It's better. I am human first. Welcome. Okay. Yeah, well, I was watching your show today. Um, I wanted to talk about the Larry Reed stuff and just kind of correct you on some of, or, or correct some of this, um, I guess, misinformation that um, was conveyed when that was trying to, the lawyer trying to clear up as well. Um, you seem to um, argue your point that the um, accusers are going to different platforms with their story instead of going to the police officers or so, so, you know, taking the legal route. And that was never the um, point or issue with um, the, the main accuser in question. Um, he never really wanted to, I guess, see or prosecute Larry um, in that fashion. So that's his reasons for not going to the, um, or taking it to the um, police officer. Now he did follow up, uh, a police report, but that was just to document um, what occurred to him. Should there be any questions um, or anyone um, question his story? Story um, that that he at least took this legal route to um, you know establish his story and events that did happen to him. So um, that was largely why he um, his story is out there, and he's never looked to you know rant to different platforms and things of that nature. It's been people that has really like sought him out, found him, found him like Daryl Moore um, researched and found him. And that's how he came to his platform. And much like that, Mr. Whitehead sought him out for his platform. So th- that individual in question, he's never like been running to different platforms to take a story um, to get it out there. His people been seeking him out. So I wanted to say that. People seek and him then, out and he did interviews. And he was getting clicks and views, and he should be going to the detective. Detective, not Bishop Whitehead, a bishop that got robbed. I will never go speak to a bishop that got robbed because number one, you should have security. So that's the last person I'm talking to. I want to talk to a pastor that did get robbed. All right. And so I want to talk. I can understand if you want to tell your story, go to Oprah, go to Sherry Shepherd, go to go, 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 go over there with uh Gail King. But you're going over here with people that got robbed. You're going over to a man that only had a thousand dollars in his bank account, and your story still ain't relevant because you went to those platforms. But if you really wanted your story, go to mainstream media. You come to YouTube, we're gonna get clicks and views off of you. All right. Okay. If you say that he didn't go to him, he could have easily said, I don't want to talk about it, I want to have privacy. But you talk to them, so you wanted clout. And guess what I'm gonna do, sir? I'm a drag. I got a, okay. Well, question for you then. Um, this in, hasn't Larry claimed that he's been molested? Larry have. Okay. And that's the story. That's okay. his. That's okay. the standard. Okay. Right. Right. Did Larry V take his story to any legal? Did he take go the legal route at all? I don't know about where Larry Reed went to legal. Yeah, that's cool. we, but Larry yeah, Reed is that's Larry cool. Reed. Larry Reed is a entertainer. He is a blogger. He done a documentary and stuff like that. This well, accuser has no, something, the against, no, Larry something is, against Larry. The difference, the difference I would say is either you want justice or you want clout. Which one do you want? Well, the, the, it's clear he's not wanting, wanting clout because he would have taken his story to multiple platforms. But back to my, my point is... Multiple platform. But, but, he was on Bitcoin no. right here. He was on <laughs> Daryl multiple times. So he want clout. And we're giving him the clout. No, no, that's according to you. But back to my point I was made. Larry has not 
um, went to the cops on any of his accusers. Isn't that not correct? I, I don't know that about that. Okay, That's, you, you, okay. have, you have you have no, you have to ask Larry. Okay. You have to you have to ask Larry about okay. about what I'll his you, is. I'm I'm more okay, so on I'll... these fake false accusers okay. that jumping from Bishop Whitehead that was robbed. All mm -hmm. right, and that jumped over there with there that was bankrupt. I'm talking mm -hmm. about them. Right, okay. I ain't worried about if Larry did that. That's up to him. He got the due diligence. He got okay. the money to do it. But we're talking about this accuser that's out here doing interviews, getting clicks and views, and not out here going to the, cooperate with the cops. Okay, so the accuser is not cooperating with the cops, just like Larry V has not cooperated with the cops. Well, that's Larry your, that's has a, not took. Why you, well, that's your problem no. with Larry. That's up to him. I'm talking about the no. accuser. No, I'm no, I'm. Oh, but I'm just bringing up the hypocrisy. So, um. The accusers okay, that about the hypocrisy. Larry Reed is innocent. Well, that's that's your belief, and I completely understand your personal belief. Um, you 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 thought Tasha K was innocent, but Tasha K, wrong wasn't, you were, Tasha K wasn't in no criminal case. That was civil. Like we talk about criminal. We talk about you, criminal. But, but Tasha K, that one number, that one number, silver, and everything like that. My track record when it comes to criminal cases has been on point. <laughs> I said, I said, I said Kayla Walk was guilty. He's in prison, right? So he better not drop the soul. I said Tory Lanez yeah. because you don't have a guilty verdict. And I also say that Dr. Larry is innocent. My track record when it comes to criminal has been spot on. Civil, okay. that ain't nothing but money. Okay. Who gives a darn? I when it comes to a criminal, I have been spot on. And when okay. it comes to that accuser, he went to Daryl. But when it was time for him to have brother Daryl's back, he went into hiding. So again, sir. He didn't go into hiding. He didn't go into he hiding. hiding. He went to hiding. Oh, he absolutely, did. he did. He went to. He didn't help Daryl. He could have well, testified on Daryl's behalf, but he didn't do it. But he didn't have to. He wasn't called upon. The, the he didn't do it. Daryl wanted no. to call him up. I heard what Daryl said on his platform. They didn't answer his phone call. Okay. Okay. So, the the court case with Daryl Moore it never was resolved in mediation. So we don't know if accuser number one would have came forth and helped Daryl Moore at that point. Darryl, so Darryl, Darryl, really Darryl, said, Darryl said that on the platform. So it is what it is. I'm taking Daryl word. Okay. So, um, but the, the accusers have made their statements. He stated his position. And to this day, he's not, he continues to say what he wants to say about Larry Reed. And he's not re, um, re, any legal repercussions from that statement, right? Well, we will understand. I don't, I believe the false accusers and everything like that. And thank okay, you so, for defending those false accusers. Anything else you want to say? Because we're going to yeah, move so, on. Sorry. Yeah. So when Larry Reed is ready to make it real for accuser number one, we'll be waiting for him. So now that he's dismissing, dismissed in North Carolina, we await for him to follow through and take this up in Atlanta if he's really innocent of those charges. Okay? All right. We shall see. Thank you so very much for calling in. <laughs> oh, man. They call it in today. Larry Reed is innocent. All right? Okay. Uh, Bella. Bella. Hi, Wiley. Welcome to the Wiley Show. Oh, good to be here. Okay, Wiley, I don't know all of the particulars about what happened with Larry Reed, but, you know, seeing you with that Red Bull and your cape on today, <clears throat> it's just crazy. Now, Wiley, I say this with love. Most of us who were in the chat who were saying, oh, my goodness, Wiley's getting dragged to the pits of hell. You know, Wiley's up here yelling and screaming like a bozo. You know, you saw that it was uh, repeated over and over in the comments. I'm sure that most people weren't saying it because we enjoy the Wiley show and we enjoy the, the antics. We enjoy the laughing. But I think when the attorney came on, you got on there and act like those poor blacks that you be talking about. You know, instead of, you know, going with the fact you was yelling, screaming, ranting, the man is telling you to drink water. You know, you look dehydrated. You look flustered and overwhelmed and you're caping for uh, the man with the eyeliner. It was ridiculous, Wiley. The producers were, we were a little bit disappointed. And not because you couldn't handle your own, but because it's like, well, when you get, well, I'm sorry. Those are lies. The ratings are high. You may be disappointed. That's okay. This is a show. And number no, two, we didn't say, I didn't say anything about your ratings. I, and, and number two, it's about the ratings. Okay. 
Number two, you know, but if that's the, not, if that's what you want to do, that's and, fine. But and, we and, expect, and, you know, we we hope for a little and, more than and, you and, just and, yelling and, and screaming on YouTube. And, 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 I would like to see and, you do and, more and, than that. Number two, we will continue to yell. If I feel like yelling, I'm going to yell on the Wally Show. Because, well, I, I see. Guess, I see. Guess, let me say this. Guess what, ma'am? What yes. happened today? Y'all are calling in across the country out of the. Well, when I call in, even when you're not I'm yelling not, on here, so it doesn't really you. matter. I'm not, I'm, a, I'm not talking. You can have a seat you right here. Sir. I ain't about you. Me. Okay, I'm gonna ask you out because you call in, right? But I'm talking huh? masses yeah. of people that you've never heard before calling in, right? Yeah. This is what we do. We even had the fake sister of Samantha James that took a picture of, <laughs> of Samantha James when she was flat out drunk and tried to solicit us for money because she see the audience. Well, and then they, oh, okay, I, I understand that, Wiley, but there, and there's a lot. Let, 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 sorry, me finish, let me finish because yeah. this is what we do on the show. Tasha K have yelled to a million subscribers. Oh, I don't, I don't even watch her, so please. That's you. That's you. Mm -hmm. about the general public. Mm -hmm. You're just one person I'm talking about the masses, right? Masses don't so, watch and, her. And, that, and that's what we're <laughs> doing over here at the Wiley Show. So that attorney, he reached out to me. And I called him on that number, and we had a conversation. You in my house. You can't tell a person how to say, oh, you too loud. You in my house. You can't hear. Mm -hmm. If you don't like my attitude, to the left, to the left. Why well, Nobody and, said anything about your attitude. But anyway, and there's a lot of people in the chat who are saying, speak for yourself, Paula. I, I, am, I am speaking for myself, because I don't know y'all, and I don't care anything about what you got going on in the chat. Because most of the people in the chat, they 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 say something in the chat anyway, and everything like that. Go ahead, speak for you. No, but you know, honestly, Wiley, because I I'm, I'm not calling here to ever say anything negative, but I still can have my opinion, Go and ahead. I just feel that I wouldn't want to see you turn into oh, I'm just going to be the yelling and screaming person because I think you're very you're much bigger than that. I think you can be much bigger than just YouTube yelling and screaming and bringing back that beef sector type of uh rhetoric. You know, and that's just my personal opinion. If you don't think that you want to be bigger than that, that's your opinion. You know, well, but, <laughs> you I know, I, I just think that you can, can be I bigger than that. And I think when people come on and they're not yelling and screaming, you know, you hit them with the, the wily that we get when we're talking about politics. The I wily that we get when we're talking. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Let me respond to that. Go ahead. There are sportcasters that yell and they're making millions. So it's a lane for that. And when we talk about politics, when y'all talk about politics, y'all don't call in. So don't you bring that politics. We talk about politics. Hundreds of people ain't called in for that. So let's not play games. Right, but we're not. I'm not saying when you when you talk about politics. You know, this is the one. This is the one thing I know for sure. I will always support you. But sometimes you just like the people. You know, like when when people are sped students, probably like most of the people in your chat. You can't really talk to them. I'm not even coming to you at, on no negative type of stuff. I'm coming to you saying, oh, when you're talking about politics, yes, sometimes when we're talking about politics, we get a serious Wiley. And I'm not saying you have to do that all the time. Whatever gets your clicks and views and the 25 cents you get a month from YouTube, that's your business. What I'm saying is when you were talking to him, you should have gave him that Wiley. And you chose not, not to, and that's your absolutely. business. And I'm calling I, in and saying what I think. I, I, and I don't I, care I, what I, anybody or you in the chat says. I absolutely. I just think, I, I, I think I, you're I, better than that. You don't I, think so. I, okay. But, but that's your opinion. <laughs> And this man, it is my opinion. And at the end of the day, I have the final say so of what I want. And I don't know who this is. Uh, somebody, baby, no, no, wait, don't, don't respond to the it, chat. That's a welfare man. Hold please. on, hold on. They, they, they just man, please. No, no call respond. in, call in, no, tell no, her to no, call no, in no, and talk no, to me. Because no, no. you say because, so don't respond, don't respond to that chat. Because I was getting dragged in the chat, I didn't care what the chat said. I was doing my purpose and my job, yes, I was, I was and, and, and entertaining. So, I don't wanted to chat. you talk to me. So and, it, uh, and did I ever respond to you in the chat? I, I kept doing my purpose. So again, when he came, when the lawyer came on, which is not a good lawyer because he still can't even serve Larry Reed and King. Right, Jackson. and then you question the man's sexuality. Of course, because I can. <laughs> Kendra, Kendra, Kendra G questioned people's sexuality. Did you question her? I don't care nothing about what Kendra uh, G is doing. I'm talking to Wiley on the Wiley now, show. People, we don't have to, I don't want to compare you, you to other people because I don't you, even go to those other people's channel like that. I come here. <laughs> Where you come on the show? Where you cover the show? Did Spirit lead me to question you? I go. Guess what? I'll go ask you questions. It's up to you to answer. Yeah, you. I mean, you can ask him that, but it was. It was like you were losing the argument, so you went to questioning his sexuality. It's, it's is what it came off to it's, from it's me. Not, it's nothing about me losing an argument. 
Yeah, I can ask questions all day long. There's nothing going to change. You and many other people have been provoked to call in. I've done my job. I, Wiley, I'm not provoked to call in. You know, I call in and mess with you all the time. So nothing provoked me to but call in. You provoked I call, call in because, because I told you. Because I'm sitting you here were, on a Saturday. My house is clean. My candles are burning. So I felt like talking to Wiley. In. You were provoked to call in. <laughs> No, I wasn't provoked to call in. I always call in. Not always, ma'am. You don't call in every show. No, unless I'm sleeping, because sometimes your things are too long and I fall. But I mean, you don't call into every show. So this particular show. I didn't say every show. show. I said all the time. All the time. On my time. Well, thank you, sister, for your support. We're going to continue to talk when we have I bet you the girl, pretty girls is sad. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, so we're going to switch back. We got somebody backstage. <clears throat> All right. Thank you all so very much, because these are the people that are watching this. Sister Harris County, you live on the air. <laughs> Wiley. Oh, my God. I happen to come back while you have me on the call. And what I wanted to say is the chat is so ignorant. I'm not even talking to them. They do know that this is pre-recorded, correct? This is live, live pre, live pre. Right. So the call they were just hearing was not about them. <laughs> like they're so stupid. But anyways, I don't think I called back in because I, I, I think, think it was Tosh. I, I think they're being critical of what you're saying, ma'am. It just, doesn't matter. Just, I think the young just, lady. I think it's just constructive criticism. I I didn't call. Oh, them. they can, they can give constructive criticism, but see, you get your money from YouTube. I don't. I get mine from the federal government. So their constructive criticism would never make any impact on me or my check. So let's start there. But I think the uh, lady Tasha that called in earlier, had I known she was going to call in, I would have told her sister, don't even do it because Wiley has some morons in the chat that are going to have so much to say well, because well, you well, don't well, agree well, with the way that he interviewed the lawyer. They, they're not morons. They are like anybody. They have an opinion. No. Uh, I said what I said, Wiley. I they, said what I said. They, they, they give their opinion about the show. about who Right, but like Tasha who said, some of us can't sit on here all day and listen to you. We have jobs. We have careers. Okay. So we can't always answer in the chat or What's always the, put up a yeah. comment. But we are going to support you. It's just that you could have handled that interview better earlier. Well, you already said you have to call and say it again. You you heard it again, didn't you? No, I'm 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 saying that, but you you're you say people don't call in. Where well, I'm calling in. You heard it the first but time. You, you heard you, it just now. But you said it. Wiley, I'm not gonna change. And neither will my opinion. Okay, but you so that's that with the same opinion. So that's that. Drink your water, Wiley. Keep doing what you feel is best for you. So that was the why you call it the criticizing. No, I called in because I was looking at the morons in the chat who think that I'm talking so you, to that so, chat, so, so and you, it's not even live. So, so you rewatch, you rewatch the. No, I happen to go back on after I did some work in my home. Okay. And made some money over the weekend. So and when you, I go on, it shows the people I'm subscribed to first, and it said Wiley was live. So when I hit it, it's not actually live. I was like, oh, I, that's me. So it couldn't have been me at the time, which means that it wasn't live. So I was like, oh, no, look at these fools in the chat. I thought they were low vibrational earlier, but there are some people in the chat who have uh, some type of sense. <laughs> well, uh, again, but uh, they were thinking that I was commenting to them. When it was pre-recorded. So that's why I called in. Why? So, I, I, you know, you know, hearing your thoughts, and you were triggered. Would that be accurate? No, I'm wondering why they think I'm talking to them, ma'am. And I called in to say it's pre-recorded, so I'm not but, talking to oh, you in the chat. You was not triggered. Hold on one second. We have somebody actually joining in. Um, Tommy, okay. do you want to respond to Sister Harris? Now? That listen, I understand where you're coming from, ma'am. But you have to understand, they drag everybody in the chat. It's not It's not a big deal. Everyone has their opinions. Everyone has their criticisms. They drag me for filth. 
And Wiley oh, knows honey, it. I, that's Mrs. Barbs. I mean, Mr. Barbs. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I know. No, we know that they drag everyone, but I was letting them know that that wasn't me talking to them specifically. I was talking to the previous chat. So they were okay. making comments, assuming that I was talking about the current chat, which I was not, because this is pre-recorded. I understand that, but you have, but you have to look at it this way. Everyone's going to come up with their own conclusions and their own assumptions. So I wouldn't even try to indulge in that conversation with them. You know what I'm saying? True. Pay them dust. Because I want oh, my food's to... burning. I gotta go. Oh, okay. He is food burning. <laughs> okay. So when I go on a press tour, and I rarely do a press tours, but when I do a press tour, when I'm oh, late God. to do a press tour, <laughs> I go on um platforms that call me radio, call me slow, call me all these things. And so I do a press tour and I go on those shows and the audience. They drag me, um, and I can handle it. I understand you're not a content creator; you are a viewer. But when I say anytime you call into a show publicly, when it's a live show or pre-recorded, it's not live, Wiley. People, people give their thoughts. I've, I, it is what it is, um, and I can't be mad at it because they're giving their thoughts. Just like when the lawyer dragged me for filth. Came back, still mm -hmm. here, still doing shows because I have thick skin in this business. You know, um, I have heated conversation with people, just like I just got an email, you know, from a sister and she said, one of your moderators, you know, blocked me and I'm unsubscribing. And I had to explain to her if they have a star, they are a member, not a moderator. So hearing you go through what you went through in the chat. <laughs> Talking the people in the chat. That's what y'all do in Harris County. Y'all correct. You correct. Get and all of that. But I understand it because you are the weaker vessel. Women are emotional. Right, right, right. And we should stand up when you walk in the room. And men, you know, I was a space student and men, also. Yeah, all of those things, you, Riley. You, Come on, you, let's be real. You get I think you're not I think you're missing the point, and that's probably some of the things that I'm not calling back because I'm so concerned about what they said in the chat. I think when I said things about the chat in about the chat while the uh, thing was live earlier, this current chat thought that I was commenting towards them and I was not. That is what I call to clear up Wiley. Not okay. that people can't have their opinions. People can say what they want to, but I was saying negative things about the chat the last time, right? And this chat, because they think you are live, thought that I was saying it about them, which I was not. So who, that is what who, I call to clear up. And someone, who, even some young lady just now said, I like you, Bella, but this is live. It's It was not live. What you were watching was not live. That was pre-recorded earlier. We were on here hours ago. That's the point. So I understand to you, sister. Oh, and, Lord, brother, what? And, and <laughs> who was getting under your skin? Because not everybody. People no, no, no. It's not about someone getting under my skin. I made a couple of comments when you just played that pre-recorded video and I was talking to that chat previously. But because some people in your chat now think that this is live, they assume I was speaking about them. That's the point. Now, I know it's my mistake to call in because when you're speaking to people who lack comprehension, you're going to seem like you're going back and forth. And my mom always said, don't argue with the fool because then they don't know who's the fool. So I wasn't calling in because someone triggered me. I was calling in because the chat assumes that you were live. And what I was saying previously recorded was directed towards them. And it was not. That's the point, Wiley. Do you get it now? No, I, I, I get it. You just. You okay. Know, okay. The chat. And I'm going to say this. Okay. Well, if you respond to a rerun, we respond to that. The chat gonna always have a right, but even people now are saying, No, Bella, it's live. It was not live. That's the point, why it wasn't I, live. I, I, and I was I, not I, talking I to the current chat. I, I, I get because it because I usually like the people in the evening as opposed to your daytime followers. I, I get it, and people definitely have their thoughts. But thank you so very much for calling back. No, in. thank you. Have a good evening. All right, bye bye. She was upset because people were dragging her, and she was very upset about that, and that's what 
people do. They drag me always in the chat. And so ain't nothing you can do about that. Uh, we've been on here for another two hours. Uh, I'm going to go back live and talk about some old stuff with some fresh new topics. And we will see y'all in the other live. And so we want to thank everybody for calling in and showing their support for calling the interview with the lawyer. The interview with the lawyer was a replay, but this is a live show. Get over it. And she responded to the replay chat. I can't stand with people acting high and mighty, but down in the dirt at the same time. Right the cameras. <laughs> we are live watching and reacting to the replay. This is live. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, man. Oh man, 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 man. <laughs> oh wow, maybe Wally should wear a different shirt so you know when it's live. Uh, y'all gonna learn. <laughs> yeah, thank y'all so very much for the support. Also, I want to give a special shout out for um the people that have been tuning in all over the social media platforms, and we want to thank them so very much. So we will drop the link if anybody want to say something else. We got about a nine more minutes before we end this live. We're going to be back live again. I, I thank you so very much. Take okay. So going to wear. <laughs> and if y'all want me in more clothes, we actually have more clothes out uh, that we're going to wear. But when we feel the need to wear, we wear. It. But I'm going to wear a different shirt for the next live, so we, nobody won't be confused. All right. And if y'all think y'all upset in this live, y'all going to be upset in the next live. Let me make sure I get that live set up because y'all have been upset at Wiley lately. And um, uh, What y'all talking about in the chat? And she dragged me so <laughs> Oh, Renee, I think people are calling. <laughs> uh, they just are a little chocolate. Yes, we appreciate that. Um, this has been a great show, man. Did y'all enjoy the show? It's happening. We go. All right. We're going to get that live started. Going to make sure that we get it together. Okay. All right. We're going to start it on the top of the hour. Thank you, Pretty, for the $4.99 super sticker. You guys are live with the attorney, and speaking with Cookie Tookie's sister was from earlier. He is mixing it in with the pre-recorded and being current. Uh, great show. Thank you so very much. Uh, yes, it was thoroughly entertained. Was y'all entertained? We had we put on a good show. I I um I believe today's show was in the top 10 for best shows this year, if not period. I think period, this have been one of the best shows this year. And it was it was good entertainment because what it does, we're on, wow, we just gained 30 subscribers today. Oh my gosh, that's great. Like people have been, they called in, 
They, you know, left messages. I'm receiving hate messages uh, in the DM right now. Literally hate messages uh, for people. And so I know when they do that, that's when you know you had a good show. And I'm I'm reading the messages like I'm like, whoa, that was a good show. Like when anytime people wishing you this and next Y and Z, that's when you know you had a good show, even though they are blocked. <laughs> so you got to create another account. But you know, sending that, that's when you know you have a good show. Anytime when people are threatening you with lawsuits, that's when you know you had a good show. I'm talking about when they threaten you with lawsuits. That's when you know you had a good show. Because I got uh, on the what's the name? And already somebody is uh, posting their attorney name or who they're going to sue me with or who they're going to bring me it with. And, and I'm like, okay. So already they are having attorneys. I haven't been served, but they have already put it out there in the atmosphere that they want to sue. So it was a great show. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Um, we're going to send a text out for that way. Great show. You've been great, 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 great. Cracking me up, just understand folks getting his themselves else stuff. Uh, wow, people really take, you know, I'm very passionate in what I do. Attorney for what? Sue for what? You know, just doing a good show, you know? I That's something that you're going to have to ask them about what's, what, they, what they're going to sue for. You know, let me drop the link because we're going to be talking about another topic. So let me drop the link we're going to be talking about diddy and i already know the black women going to be upset with me yet again but we got to talk about it so i'm gonna drop the link in here and this is how you get your notification hold on let me drop it in here oh we have somebody in backstage we still live give me a second Welcome to the show. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? I can't hear you. You got to have your mic connected. I can't hear you. So sorry. Got to have your mic connected. Oh, so sorry. You got you got to have it connected. <laughs> no, it was a new it was a new person. So you have to call in for the next show. Give me a second. For Facebook, we do not stream live for Facebook. We just stream live for YouTube. And what we do, we re we post that show. We post, we repost that show <clears throat> on the air for Facebook. So that is exactly what we do. So again. That is what we do. So if you in it, so you in the building, we repost the show for Facebook. And we are repost it. So we don't do it live. Yeah. All right, we got three people waiting. Did I did I understand I'm asking that? Um, it was 
like is are you going to post the papers for the members what papers are you talking about let me know what papers uh like you talking about court documents for we could definitely do that once we get it because i post one of the documents thank you so very much all right we will see y'all in another live uh Thank you so very much. Oh, uh, also too. Um, yeah. Are oh, you talking about the emails? Yeah, we we will. We, we're gonna do a members only live, so no, y'all don't worry about that. We we are doing members only live, not tonight, because I'm gonna do the ditty, and then we're gonna do the members only because it's already late, and um, I'm gonna do. I'm since I'm, we'll do it on Sunday, so we're 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 dive we're diving into that because I'm gonna blot out his email address, so we we will do that on Monday. Wait a minute. Okay. We got some tea about something. All right, that's going to be for members before I go live with that. I just I just got some tea ran across my desk about the lawyer. <sighs> wow. You just never know who's watching the Wally show. Get it. Yeah. And stuff like that. And so what I'm going to do, if y'all, if I see people like arguing with each other, you would be, you will be timed out. You got to talk about the subject and this is me. So if I'm, if I'm watching the chat for the, this next topic, if I see y'all the same people going back and forth, you just gone. Poof. Bye bye. You got to be talking about the content. All right. You're going to be talking about the content. You ain't got to worry about blaming this moderator, that moderator. If I see you just going back and forth, just constantly in the chat, and it's the same two people, if I see the same same thing, I'm just going to block you because I want you talking about what Wiley is talking about, all right? Because if you, unless you're willing to come on the show and y'all argue on the show, we can get some clicks and views. But just in the chat, going back and distracting the chat, you're going to be gone. And then in order for you to come back, you have to come on the show, two parties that you argue with, and y'all put on the show for everybody. And we can get clicks and views off of it, all right? So, again, get it out the energy. But if I see it, I'm going to just block you. And then if you then if you send an email, in order for you to get unblocked, come on the show, then y'all argue on the show for clicks and views, all right? Because all that, because I'm keep getting emails and petty emails and stuff like that and texts and I stop it immediately. I've I've done it before, and I will do it again. Okay. And so, if you want to argue, click the link and argue. All right. That's what we're gonna do. Okay. So you know, uh, we had have that on, and uh, and then I'm, I, you know, drop the link in because you you can. Use that energy to talk about. If you just in the chat, just disrupted the chat, I will block you. And then you would have to send me a, a message. And then, you know what I'm saying? Then I bring you on the show and you have to explain to you why you're acting like that. Okay. So, you know, um, yeah, so I'm going to be watching the chat the next time. Absolutely. Yeah, I might. I'm def, I'm definitely gonna be watching the chat, uh, cause I'm keep getting emails. You know what I'm saying? And um, oh, petty stuff. And I just have to block somebody today, cause I'm like, I gotta worry about the content. I don't be want to worry about that chat. Like, I will make this chat. Oh, I ain't gotta worry about it. I can make the chat members only. <laughs> I just thought about it. Like, if I see the chat just going blah blah blah, I'm gonna click that members only. <laughs> okay and if you want to argue back and forth you got to be a member i would do it i've seen other chats do it too i, I will make that members only in a second <laughs> oh man man i would i would i would take i, I would have it members only in a second <laughs> Oh man, if you want to argue, if you pay a buddy to argue, that's you. You you can do it. Oh man. <laughs> Let me stop. Okay, I'm gonna see y'all. 
let me uh I already I already drop the uh let me drop it one more time. This link is a brand new link, not pre-recorded, brand new, 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 because we never talked about this subject, and we will see y'all. We're gonna give co commentary on that. Thank you so very much, Sister Latavia J, for becoming a member. My Virginia sister, I, you know, shout out to her. All right, thank you all so very much. And we, and also subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We already have the link up, and I will see y'all in the next live. Okay, make sure y'all subscribe, become a member, all of that. Let me get ready for this next live. Peace. Right.